All right, so moving away from uh, the Super Eagles now, uh, there's another story regarding the Nigerian player that trended uh, in the last few days was the move of uh, former MPFL joint top scorer Silas Wanko. You know, he moved from Nasarawa United <laughs> to uh, a top flight side in Sweden, Mayabi IF in Sweden. And uh, I mean, I'm talking about Silas Wanko, he was one of the players named checked by August Negrovo to come replace uh, Ojo Igalo. He was uh, named checked alongside uh, King Kimu Amo, but I mean, he was late. Calf couldn't uh, allow that. Now, let's talk about the player now. This is a big move. I mean, moving from the MPFL to the Swedish top flight. But this, he made a move and it wasn't the move that was trending. You know, what was trending was his age. Now, he, he, he was reported that he was 19 years. On transfer market, he was 19. <laughs> on some quarters, he was 18. And when his unveiling pictures came out, you know, he trended everywhere. You know, people were commenting, how, how could this... How could he be 18? Now, um, I think he, 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 we know this, this is not new in Nigerian football with Nigerian players, but I don't know why I feel he did so much. He, the reduction was too, too much. I mean, if you, you know, looking, <laughs> at, looking at it, you, you couldn't say, you, you know, it's hard to believe he's 18 or 19. But uh, what's the way forward with this, in, you know, in Nigerian football? We see this happen, you know, a lot with Nigerian players. <laughs> how they falsify age, how do they get past this? I mean, if you have this on your passport, I mean, just walk, walk me through that. You know, how, how do they get past this? Okay. And what is the way forward with this? So, in let's talk about the menace first. Let's talk about the virus and then we'll talk about the symptoms and then maybe we'll get uh, the vaccine to cure it. Uh, but before then, uh, there's been so many comments. People are laughing on, on, on Instagram. <laughs> I, I, why, why are you people laughing? Why are you people shaming us? The whole talk was about the age. No one was actually congratulating him about that move. I mean, it was a big move. You step up. MPFL joint top scorer he scored over 18 goals in the MPFL for Nasarawa United. Okay, so the age cheating problem uh, is it's not a pandemic per se, but it's a national problem. Civil servants change their ages, people argue about their ages, you know, they bring it down and all that. So I I I, I don't venture into it that much with Venom anymore like I used to. The people that rule us, the examples you have ahead of you, they change their age, nothing happened. Any anytime there is no punishment for doing something, you can't blame people. Having said that, so, uh, Silas is not 18 years old. Okay, nobody can. In 2019, he played for Crown. Uh, after Crown, he went to Sunshine Stars, if I'm not mistaken, because I really followed him in the league. He played for Sunshine Star in one season, 2019, 2020, and then he went to Nasara United from 2020 to 2022. Hello, how old was he when he was playing for Crown FC? professional football and then how old was he when he played for sunshine stars playing 11 games scoring two goals and then playing for nasarawa united playing 42 games and scoring 20 goals at 18 before 18 i mean <laughs> it, it's it's not something that we can complain about but this is how it works so uh the people who have a player they always make sure you don't have a passport until a concrete deal abroad is available once that time comes in you go on almost all nigeria footballers born in nigeria don't have birth certificate and okay that's a government problem because it's not easy that's a government problem if government makes sure there's a policy that says everybody must have a birth certificate whether they born you for where they rob or for one metro for back door you must register your child in brazil when your goat born, you go and register the, the, the bet, the calf, all those, you know, your goat, your chicken, and the rest. You register the number of chicken, you have, your, your eggs that have been hashed and all that. Oh, really? So if we have a policy that documents this thing, and then they are properly taken care of, even at that, Brazil still cheats with age, you know, we would solve the problem one bit. But secondly, poverty, like I, I, I've been saying a couple of days now, poverty have been weaponized in Nigeria and in Africa. So we look at it like, this is your only way. If Silas comes and says he's 33, the club will not sign him. So it's yeah. a two-way street. If Silas comes now, that guy looks like he's over 30. If he comes and says he's over 30, the club will not sign him. So the best way for him to sign is to say he's 18. Now, where I don't have a problem with it, and when everybody is talking about it, why it really doesn't bother me, it's a fact that he didn't sign to play an underage competition. It's his career. If he plays and after two years his career is over, that's his business. Kaka did not cut his age. His career did not last. He didn't have a long career. Zlatan is 40. Some people didn't play up to 30. Something, their career is over. So, even if he didn't cut his age, injury can end it. I'm not supporting cutting your age, but I don't think it's a major issue the way people made it look. It's just the way Nigerian social media works anyway. The way we made it look, we not made a first alert. He didn't say he's 18 to go and play for under 17. He's playing open age. That's what we call it. He's playing senior 
career. So if he chooses to be 18, if somebody can wake up, let's even judge the world on a general surface. A guy who won a medal in athletics in Olympics, a guy, a man, got married, have children, woke up one morning and says he's a woman, and we all agree. Jenner, <laughs> yeah, from Chris Jenner to Kathleen Jenner, we all agreed. Why is it difficult, which is harder, for somebody to wake up one morning and say, I'm no longer a man, I'm a woman, or I'm no longer a woman, I'm a man, and we all accept. Why can't somebody change their age too and we all accept it? That, that, that's the way I'm looking at it from. You may not like it, but who cares about what you like? It's about what the universe has become. You know that gender now is no longer male and female alone. There is extra that I don't even know what they are called. But we accept it. If we can accept that, then we should let people be. It is career, not my own. And the fact that it says it's 18 does not change it. Somebody was born Cassius Clay. One day he woke up and said his name is Muhammad Ali. And we all accepted it. So, whatever age you want to claim, it's your business. For as long as you can survive and play your career very well. Changing his age, let's not forget, does not affect any other person but himself. Yeah. It's a choice. It's like I decide to put tattoo in my arm and somebody comes and says, why you have tattoo? Just the way people talk about my dreadlock. Oh, you can't be a CEO and have a dreadlock. It's a business. That's your own business. It's not my business, right? So, I don't think I want to bother about Silas. But that is 18, I don't think is a problem. But I won't be one of those people who go crazy you know, go ballistic and begin to tear him down. No, it's a choice. The European clubs too are at fault in this. If this guy comes out and says he's 33, would, uh, what's he called? Jabi, I'll be what they call them. Yeah. Would they sign him? No. So, survive. It's in survival mode. In survival mode, you do everything and anything to survive until you get to stable, stable ground. So, it's not on stable ground. It's trying to survive. Play for. Look at the clubs they play for. All clubs that with tradition of not paying salary. Cran. Such as stars, Nassau United. Then you get a place where you can end salary, and the only thing you need to do is change your age. My brother, let's leave him. It's not a, it's not a major conversation. It doesn't affect anybody. It doesn't destroy the apple. This is not our Eve eat apple and sin came into the world. I mean, you know, aside the age issue, I mean, Silas Wanko is one player you want to keep an eye on right there in Sweden. He knows how to score goals. You know, for, if a player can be a name check to come into the national team by uh, the national team yeah. manager, then you should know the talent. It's definitely there. So, uh, Salah is one coach, one player. I'll be keeping an eye on, and uh, hopefully, he gets to score lots of goals for me. I'll be right there in Sweden. So, congratulations, Salah Swankwa, and I uh, wish you all the best in Sweden. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.